Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel and greetings from the Airbus A320 simulator at the TFC Flight Training Center here in Essen, Germany. This is another basic introduction video of the Airbus A320 hydraulic systems. So let's get started. Uh, 1383, runway 27, clear takeoff. United 1638, number 32, 7, The A320 hydraulic system consists of three independent continuously operating systems and marked with colors green, blue and yellow. Each system has its own hydraulic fluid reservoir and an accumulator but fluids can't be transferred from one system to another and the normal system operating pressure for each system is 3000 psi which is at about 200 bars compared to your car tire pressure which is at 2 to 3 bars. To provide this kind of pressure each hydraulic system has its own pump. The green and the yellow system have their own engine driven pump plus the yellow system has an electrical driven backup pump. The blue system only has an electrical driven pump for normal operation and for emergency cases a secondary pump driven by a ram air turbine. I'll get back to that later. All the pumps can be selected on or auto or intentionally off with the respective hydraulic push buttons on the overhead panel. So in normal operating configuration there are no lights illuminated on the hydraulic panel. So if all systems are operating normal, the ECAM hydraulic page would look like this. At the bottom you have the reservoir level and the fire shut off valve. A green inline indicates that the associated push button switch for the pump is on and hydraulic pressure is normal. An amber cross line would indicate blue elec pump is off. An amber low indicates the pump is on but the hydraulic pressure is low. And if there were to be a failure, the ECAM hydraulic page would automatically be displayed with any hydraulic system fault or by pressing the hydraulic push button switch on the ECAM control panel. Now let's look at some important components for which each hydraulic system is responsible for. For example, the green hydraulic system takes care of the landing gear attraction, moves the slats and the flaps, opens the reverser doors of engine one, provides pressure for the normal braking system and much more. The blue system drives the slats and most of the flight controls and besides that, in case of a total electrical power loss, the ram air turbine deploys pressuring the hydraulic system and driving an emergency generator for electricity. The yellow system drives the flaps, provides pressure for the alternate braking system and reverser doors of engine 2. But most importantly, all three systems provide pressure for the flight control actuators, the rudder, the stabilizer and elevators, slats, flaps and ailerons, meaning if one system would totally fail, there are two more hydraulic systems for backup making the system very reliable and redundant. And besides that, the hydraulic system green and yellow can pressure each other with the PTU, the power transfer unit. Let's say we would have just experienced an engine failure on one engine and the hydraulic pressure on the green system would immediately collapse because the engine driven pump has stopped running. Within seconds the PTU automatically kicks in and provides the pressure of 3000 psi. So imagine the PTU as a pump which in our case gets driven by the yellow system pressuring the green system. So although we've just had an engine failure, all hydraulic system works as if in normal operation. Okay, new scenario, all engines running again. <laughs> now let's say the green hydraulic reservoir is leaking and the ECAM would give a warning stating hydraulic green reservoir low level. And following the ECAM orders, we have to turn off the PTU and engine one pump, meaning due to the leakage there isn't enough fluid in the system to provide adequate pressure and therefore we have to shut down the PTU and engine driven pump and accept the entire green hydraulic system is lost. Due to the loss, the ECAM will show the independent and primary failures as 
hydraulic green reservoir low level and green system low pressure. The right side of the ECAM shows the secondary failures, flight controls and wheel page as they have components which are affected by the loss of the green system. So let's look at the respective pages and see what is inoperative and what was taken over by the other hydraulic systems. So the nose wheel steering is inoperative resulting that after landing we would need a tow truck to get us from the runway. The auto brake and the normal braking aren't working either so we would have to use the backup alternate braking of the yellow system. So let's look at the flight control page. The spoilers 1 and 5 on each side are inoperative, not too bad because we still have the blue and yellow system backing up the rest of the flight controls. Okay, now let's go through the status page. Because of the green hydraulic system loss, we have to apply the landing gear gravity extension checklist. And once the gear is out, it won't be retractable again in case of a go-around as mentioned in the inoperative system. Second, we have to apply the landing distance procedure calculations due to the fact that the parts of the spoilers won't deploy on touchdown, the reverser one won't open and the auto and normal braking system is also inoperative. After reading and understanding the failures from the status page, you call out ECAM actions completed and get out the respective checklist for upcoming procedures. But as you can see, any hydraulic system loss comes with a few setbacks, but the other systems will ensure the necessary redundancy. I hope you enjoyed this basic introduction video of the A320 hydraulic system. Perform a touch and go at my Instagram account, uh, the link is in the description below. Hit the subscribe button for further upcoming videos so you don't miss them out. Thanks for the big support by TFC providing me with this great flight simulator. Make sure to check out their website for more details about their flight school and training programs. See you next week. All the best, your Captain Joe.